Guys, if you're wondering why, like, the tankies or Asadas are freaking out, it's because they're alt-writers, okay? They act identically to alt-writers. Have you ever seen them on Twitter? They're completely identical. They're not different in any way. They get along with alt-writers. There's a reason why Partisan Girl is literally friends with Nick Fuentes, okay? They're alt-writers. They're authoritarians. They just like it. They like conspiracy, and they like it when people are murdered for, you know, as part of the domination of an ethnic minority. They just enjoy it, okay? When you're so anti-American that you start defending people who do worse shit to their population than America. Yeah, but it is, it is deliberate. That's, that's very important to remember. Nobody acts like that, like, accidentally, you know? This is a very deliberate effort to be that dishonest. Uh, it's pretty cringe. Yeah, I do think so. These people are fascists. Jackson Hinkle, the Gray Zone types, they're fascists. But the thing is, their style of fascism is a little bit more intelligent than, like, your average dumb fuck, like, skinhead, like, American white nationalist. Um, what they do is they fall in line with the Russian model. You might notice if you watch Russia today that there's a lot of info that's pushed on there, but there's basically one, like, cohesive narrative, and the narrative is destabilization. The broader goal of Russia today, and of the Russian government, is to destabilize Western democracies and to lessen people's faith in their government, you know? Um, so people like, uh, you know, Putin, it's not just like, oh yeah, Trump is good, rah, rah. It's more like... I'm going to use the intelligence apparatuses of my country to try and disseminate contradictory propaganda to exacerbate internal contradictions. It's very intelligent. There are plenty of documents out there that credit Russia for an incredibly intelligent approach to uh, cyber warfare that they engage in, you know? Um, credit where credit's due. Anyway, for these fascists, the one that we're arguing with right now, their brand of fascism isn't to advocate for fascist-like policy. Their brand of fascism is to defend foreign fascists, to delegitimize any alternative to those systems, to claim to be on the left, but to attack everyone actually pushing towards the left, which is why they've turned on AOC, Ilhan Omar, Bernie Sanders, the DSA, everybody else. They've turned on every like actual way of pushing for the left, but then they praise people like Tucker Carlson. Then they praise people like Assad. Then they say that the actual metric for being a left-leaning person is anti-imperialism, which means basically uncritical support of far-right dictators, as long as they're far-right dictators that America doesn't get along with. Uh, they'll destroy and sow division inside of all real legitimate left-leaning movements in this country, paving the way for fascism. That's their goal. Rather than advocating for fascism from fascism side, they're like viruses who spread within the left. and. Um, and do what they can to tear it apart from the inside. What else are you getting from people like Jimmy Dore and Glenn Greenwald? Like, they're on the left, but they attack everyone on the left, buddy up with people on the right, defend far-right regimes around the world, and spend an... Uh, and simultaneously, they critique other left-leaning people for um, myopic infighting, but that's all they do. Jimmy Dore critiques left-leaning people for myopic infighting, but that's all he does. Same with all these types. Glenn Greenwald called Tucker Carlson a socialist.